Hey. Can you guys see me over there dancing hey. in the background? Nah, I can't see when you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to All About the Joy. Hi, Rick Costa. Hi, Cynthia. Hey, hey, hey. how you doing? What's up? Doing good, doing good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Well, there's me... a bug on my mic. I can't. Listen, <laughs> I, did not, I didn't sign up for no special guest called Bug. I know. I'm like, did you guys see the fly? It was like, no. <laughs> wait a minute. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. So it's been a week. We know it's been a week and there's no denying that we need to talk a little bit about politics. So we're going to talk. We're going to open up a little bit to discuss. I'm sorry. I'm struggling with my mic because I'm having a day. I'm having a week (laughs) is what it is. My mic is falling. My lighting is off. It's just my mic. (laughs) I Um, I just wanted to um, just have a an honest conversation about how you're feeling. I know you're both not big political people, and I think that's fine. But in some way, shape or form, we're all political people because it affects us all. So I just want to see how you guys are feeling. And if you wanted to just chime in kindly or however you feel, and then I'll yell at you if you're not kind about it. So <laughs> but go ahead, Cynthia, let's let you go first. Oh, definitely disappointed. It was a, a close race. Um, at this point, it is what it is. And now we just have to deal with it and see where we can go from here. That's all. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, what's done is done, honestly. And we just have to try to make the best of it. Yeah. Agreed. Rick? think we're going to be okay. I think there's a lot of fear going on. Um, I think we need to just woosah, take a breath, calm down. (laughs) A lot of things people are saying right now is like, okay, come on. We're not trying to make people slaves again. (laughs) What are you talking about? I I understand you're upset, but we already been through him once and that didn't happen then. I don't think it's going to happen again now. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm just saying, calm down. We're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. I can tell me and Cynthia are both like, we, we just hold him back. <laughs> we going to let Rick share. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to say, Rick, just to push back a little bit, you never want to tell like a woman to calm down, right? <laughs> I'm just, like, just going to throw that out there as an idea. I think it's been a day. It's, like, this is the one thing I'm going to say. I'm going to say this. It's been one day or two days. Let people grieve. Let people shout and scream or cry or be upset. Like if the roles were reversed, mm-hmm. the last thing I would be doing is being even more cruel to the other side. You know what I mean? To to yeah. Trump supporters who won. So I feel like, again, it goes back to all about the joy, about being good and decent people. And Rick, I called you out yesterday on your Facebook post that you wrote in such a way that made it sound like you were being cruel to people who were grieving or whatever. I guess there's something and I'm not even going to I don't even want to mention what it is because I know you said that on your show, but you actually mentioned it. There are people making fun of other people grieving, which is just the, the cruelty in who we have become. And and please don't do the what about isms. Well, you guys do you know what? I don't. I have not said a cruel motherfucking thing to one goddamn motherfucking person. I have not about who you vote for, about what you believe in. I ask you to be respectful. You can swear as much as I just did in that last sentence. <laughs> but the cruelty is where I'm just I'm cutting people out. I'm cutting you out. And here's the thing. If somebody else is being cruel or saying things that you don't believe are true, Rick, okay, great. I I agree with you. There are some people who are expressing themselves in the way in which they need to. And, you know, I I, I have a good friend. I'm not going to say his name. He wrote a blog post and he's definitely a Harris supporter. And, you know, I know what he's talking about, but he's exaggerating. And it's a whole other conspiracy theory. I say you just, we just sat and yelled at other people for doing conspiracy theories. And now because we lost, you're going to do the stop. He got mad at me. I'm like, be mad. I'm done. I'm done with cruelty. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I know it's about to get really bad, 
But I'm telling you right now, if you're going to be in my circle, you're going to be on my show, you're going to be anywhere near anything I have anything to do with, I'm done with the cruelty. I don't care what you believe in. I don't care what religion you preach or listen to or whatever. If I think you're being cruel or you're doing something against my well-being and my spirit and my heart, you're done. You're out. I'm over it. And I'm not hey, messing Tony. with you. Hi, Tony. And Tony said, good evening. Heavy topic across the country and very triggering to many. Emotions are high. You know what? I think that triggering might not be the best word. It's probably the right word. But I think using the word triggering nowadays triggers people. <laughs> <laughs> like it's such a weird thing. Um, but I absolutely agree with you. I think we need to be kind to each other. And Tony just said, I've said it before, disrespect has taken over society worse than politics. Okay. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to argue that point. I think you're, you are making a statement that I can't refute, but I think sometimes Truth is being confused with lies and being confused with disrespect and be, you know what I mean? Like, I think what we really need to do is stop talking and start listening more. And if you're going to talk and apologies for what I'm going to say, Rick, because I don't mean this towards you, but I am really sick and tired of people preaching that they're Christian and then acting unchristian like i am sick of it i cannot tell you how many people in my dms on my facebook page are the most unchristian people on the planet and then you go to their site and they got jesus written all over their facebook page they got crosses everywhere stop with the hypocrisy stop it and stop blaming everything on mental health. That's the other thing. <laughs> People do something wrong. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just, <laughs> I'm a little bit sick and I don't feel good. I'm a sick my therapist. Stop. Your bad behavior is bad behavior because you're not taking the breath. You're not taking the breath before you speak and thinking. Coincidentally, so I post a one minute little scripture thought thingy. And today's was basically... Just because you say you have faith, your life basically can disprove it. Absolutely. I saw that. And that's, I didn't post it on purpose. That's just the next one that was on the list. <laughs> no, no, but it's the truth, but it's the yeah. truth. And, 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 and I'll give you credit. You, you tend to preach that through your sermons on a daily basis. You are saying that there's the thread that you always say that people can't just say that they believe in Jesus and then turn around and behave differently. Now, this is not going to be a religious broadcast or a political <laughs> one, but we're talking about this stuff today because it matters. You know what I mean? Opposite day, like on Seinfeld. <laughs> it's opposite day. <laughs> so, uh, so Thank yeah, you, I was just... Um, oh, can I say one cool thing? It's joyful? Yeah, but I, we're not the subject yet, but go ahead. No, it's still politics. <laughs> I absolutely loved Biden's speech today. I thought it was really good. I didn't even see it today because I was... Yeah, unable would, to, but it was really it's good. It's on YouTube. Okay. It's on YouTube. It was very okay. good. It was encouraging. I, I felt better. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, look at I'll say this. Everyone here knows I am not a Trump supporter. I hate Trump. There's no doubt about it, but here's what I'm going to say. He is the president-elect. He is the former president of the United States, and I want that man to prove me wrong. I do. I want to be here in three months, in six months, in eight months, and be like, damn, I was wrong. I love my country. I love my country. Prove me wrong. I am excited to see that happen. I am. I don't know why people think I'd be betting against my own country. If exactly. this is the will of the people, and I'm doing quotes because I'm, I'm doing it. Will of the people because I'm questioning it, not the votes. I'm just like, is this really the will of the people? Or did he, you know what I mean? <laughs> then I want him to, I want to be, I will be happy to say I was motherfucking wrong. I love this. I'm excited. I want this country to unite. So I'm ready for it. Go ahead, Cynthia. You're going to say something before I went on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, but that's all I'm saying is I'm excited for that. So. I wish we would start thinking about the best in people instead of the worst. We're always going to have political sides. I think this idea that I can be friends with you and we have really incredible differences in our belief systems and we keep 
being bullied into these corners and sides and we keep being antag. I can't handle that. So I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't, I need a minute. And that minute may be seven months. I don't know how long it's going to be, <laughs> but I need to not be involved with the nastiness. I just, yeah. I, I don't care who's doing it. Stop doing it. Yeah. Do you know Chris Gales? Yeah, you do. Right, Rick? Of course I do. Yeah. You do. Okay. I don't think so. Oh, Cynthia doesn't. I already asked her yeah. in the green room, but she didn't react because she doesn't understand what we talk about the green room. I say we have to act like fresh, like it's new. <laughs> like, you know, like, <laughs> like I didn't ask him before. I'm going to play something he posted on TikTok. Let's see if I can do it. I, I don't know if he's going to come on. I didn't ask him to come on. Anyways, he sent this to me. And anyway, here it goes. Let's see if I can do it. Look, I'm at a point in my life where if you say something negative, about a group of people or about an individual, I'm going to call you on it. And I'm going to tell you that's bullshit. If you look at me and you say, don't overreact or I'm being too sensitive or, you know, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. I'm going to look at you again and I'm going to say, that's bullshit too. It's time to take all the negativity out of your your vocabulary, all the negative phrases, negative sayings that you've been okay with or people have pretended to be okay with over time. It's time to throw that stuff away. It's time. It's time. I love him, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> I, okay, so the whole gist of it is I have always believed a few things. Number one, I think people need to stop talking about who they're voting for all the time. I don't know when. I remember growing up and there was a time when that was a sacred and secret thing. Like you didn't talk about your salary. Mm -hmm. Although I'm against that. I think everyone, especially women, should talk about their salaries all the time because that's why we don't get equal pay. <laughs> that's a whole other <laughs> conversation. But, and I'm not saying things have to be secret and in the corner or whatever, but I think that's also part of the polarization of who we've become is this constant, like I'm red and I'm blue and I'm this and I'm that. Right. Thank you, Carol. Yes, exactly. And then just being unkind. I'm, I'm that's the whole point of this show. All about the joy. You know what I mean? It's just mm -hmm. this kind of, it's not a joke. I don't know if you guys have anything to chime in on that. I'm curious your thoughts. I do remember I that. People, As a, sorry. No, go ahead. I think I think when people start talking about their political views or whatever, that their manners just they really go down the drain. Like they just it just brings out the nastiness in them. It brings out just they just forget to be kind. It's you can have your views, you can vote for whoever you want, as long as you do vote. It's mm. just they just forget how to be nice to people and kind and stuff. Which really sucks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to say when I was young, I remember you more or less knew if somebody leaned more Republican or Democrat. And I never even heard of independent when I was a kid, like, like today. But um, nobody talked about, oh, I voted for so-and-so. It just wasn't done back then. And look, at, I'm, I'm not saying stay in secrecy because I think part of what's great about this country already is that we do have the ability to speak to each other about it. Like I can argue with you till, you know the cows come home. I don't know where that saying comes from and I don't live on a farm, but <laughs> about pro-choice versus pro-life, right? You, Rick, you and I have had these conversations. Like we can go back and forth and back and forth and then be like respectful and be like, okay, cool. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you can have conversations. I think another thing that people are making excuses on that I'm done with, everything is not social media's fault. You are motherfucking social media. You mm -hmm. are. If, so, so someone said, and it has to do with your link, Rick, that you put up yesterday. Mm. Here's the thing. If you don't want to listen to people grieving, you know what you can do? You can actually change what you're watching. You can mm. move along. You can go in your search engine and find dancing videos, please. Or you can, you can go on TikTok. I have on TikTok, I blocked anything that says Trump. I don't get anything that is Trump related because I don't want the toxicity. And again. 
He is now president elect. I'm talking about, I didn't want the toxicity in the past. I didn't want to listen to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I blocked that stuff. So I wasn't listening to it at all. I also block things that I, I don't want to watch on a regular basis. I don't want to watch recipes and cooking, no offense, but I don't cook. I want the food brought to me, but that's how <laughs> blocked on my TikTok. But you can do that. Well, I, I don't want to watch. I mean, the only one I watched though was Terry K because he's analyzing and being funny, right? <laughs> he's like, what is? Yeah, that's different. <laughs> but this idea that somehow social media is forcing you to watch things that you can now make fun of and be cruel to, there is a fly, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just talking with your hand. <laughs> I'm like, get away from me, stop. <laughs> I'm going crazy. No, but I mean, that's that's kind of the thing too. I don't know why people need to comment on shit they don't like. If you mm -hmm. read a comment right. or you see a post that you don't like, you know what you can do? You can choose not to comment. I do it every day. I will watch somebody do a TikTok or I'll see something, especially Facebook. I don't, there's like 1 million ads on Facebook and then one person I know. <laughs> doing mm. something going up. It's a whole other issue. But like, I'll see all these things and I'll be like, you know, I'm just going to pass on. I don't, you don't have to comment on everything. Yeah. I'll be like on a YouTube video about a whatever topic and somebody be in there. I don't like this and I don't believe this. So I'm like, so why are you here? And why are you commenting? <laughs> I don't get yeah. it. I don't get it. I don't understand why people do this. And I think it needs to stop. And it's what Carol is saying about etiquette and manners. We need to learn how to use social media. We need to learn how to talk to each other. If you're going to talk about topics of politics and religion, you better learn how to do it with kindness and grace and mm -hmm. have an open attitude about it. I'm not saying you have to like everybody or not disagree. Yeah, no. I disagree with most of the people watching this show right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they're you can all have a debate. Just have a good debate without all the toxic stuff in it. Even the candidates, like any candidate, not even this one, like past ones. It's like you can have a debate on what your views are for the country without going below the belt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not even they can do that. that I, you know what? I don't even know if that's a topic we should go there because we can't handle that crap, but we can take care of True. ourselves, right? Melanie just said, learn how to scroll past what you don't want to. Girl, exactly. exactly. <laughs> learn how to scroll past. And it's so funny how she wrote that. I think she did that intentionally. <laughs> learn how to not automatically <laughs> react and say, I Let's hate this keep on swiping. Why'd you write? But my, my favorite is when there's some celebrity, I think it was Jennifer Aniston or so. Jennifer Aniston was on something on Facebook. Like, I don't know. Was, I don't know even know if it was an ad or whatever. And I went and looked in the comments because she had a beautiful dress, a just gorgeous dress on. I went and looked in the comments and in the comments, she's had so much work done. Da, 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 I don't even And I'm like, what? Is, she was not talking about, I am naturally born this way. I have nothing to <laughs> It was like some scene from a movie. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And who, the people in the comments are just bringing down. And I don't give a fuck about Jennifer Aniston. It's not about Jennifer Aniston. I'm just, stop it. Mm -hmm. Change how you use social media, people. Yeah, exactly. Change your life. Oh, my God. Be a positive person. <laughs> Life's too short for negativity. That's right. But you know what? People like it. People love it. People love the car accident. We've talked about this before. People mm. like seeing other people fail. People like being cruel and mean, especially, and we're not going to go down this thing, especially when they can hide behind another name. Melanie just said, one person I know on Facebook constantly attacks me on certain posts. I am so over it. Block I'm sorry. Them I'm, Block sorry. Them. I'm sorry, Melanie. No, I'm kidding. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not me. Rick. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no um <laughs> let me block them i block people i block so many people i block so many people today mm -hmm. yesterday i block people that actually are supporters of vice president harris i was like you know what it's too much trauma block mm -hmm. I, I just i block so many people because i'm like i just i don't want the nastiness 
I don't want the right. nastiest. And again, I'm not going to be picking on horror films. I know, weird segue. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, the reason why I don't watch horror films for me, and I don't know if I'm overly sensitive or I just really believe it, is because it does affect me so I can't sleep. It takes me mm. weeks to forget about it. Like I know. And here's the thing that is something that is substantial to me since I was a little kid. Mm. But I think we've all heard this before, right? The way we talk to ourselves, the people we put around, it affects you. Mm -hmm. Melanie, block that person. Block that person. Even if it's Rick, girl. That's <laughs> <laughs> your Bible. You don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> on Periscope, Periscope was horrible with trolls and people just saying the most insane things. And I'd be like, I have a high tolerance for weirdos, but if it's too bad or you're attacking somebody else in the broadcast, I'd be like, we going to bless and block. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> bless <laughs> and block. I forgot about that. I love that. Carol mm -hmm. just said you got to guard your mind. Yes. That's it's right. true. First of all, I think we need to also take a minute. People really angry. And they blaming everybody. And they're like, I'm like, dude, it's been a minute. Can we just bring it down a notch? Can mm -hmm. I have a minute to just cry in my grief and then put myself back up and be like, okay, I'm on it. Okay, I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'm ready. It was, it was funny in, in my office yesterday. It was so quiet. Usually, mm -hmm. like, everybody in all the offices are just chit-chatting and, you know, hitting them down the halls. It was so quiet. It really was, like, Everyone was grieving. And there are Trump and Harris supporters in the office. But it was just like everyone was just being respectful of each other mm -hmm. and just letting everyone take it in. It was very weird. Not in the mm. offices I work in. You could cut really? the tension with a knife. Yeah, because there's one section of the production team that are Trump supporters. And then there's another section like the construction workers, the admin people. So there's all like the producers and all the... It's just so funny how it's so segregated, even in this production house, you know what I mean? Like, are, are all Harris supporters. And when I walked in to the office today, I was like, oh my God, because I go into the warehouse and then I go, anyway, it, I walked in and I was like, oh my God, please help me get through this. Because it, was, it wasn't respectful. There was a toxicity. There was a you know what? Somebody wanted to blow and say something because they've all been tiptoeing around each other all this time. And now the results are in. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but, but I, you know, I was like, I, I kind of tried to break the ice. It wasn't good. Actually, my boss came in and he was totally cool. He's looking. We need to just, everybody needs to just chill. We need to talk about this. Let's get pizza for lunch. Let's, you know, it's fine. We're going to be okay. And that was actually what broke the ice. I was kind of like, what's wrong, everybody? Come on. <laughs> like, we got work to do. We have things to do. You know what that, that didn't work so well because I was just so over it. You know what I mean? Like, so um, pizza, pizza brought the love and joy back. Pizza brought the love and joy back. It's so funny because it's been two days. So this is my, because the first day was another client. Usually I'm there by myself. So it wasn't okay. There was tension there too, but I didn't see some of the other people. There was only one group of Harris supporters that were there. And then, or, and then people who don't talk about politics. So yesterday wasn't so bad, but today I was like, come on, stop it. I was so frustrated. <laughs> It's my country. Stop it. Come on, people. You know what I mean? So <laughs> Melanie wrote, Rick, did you take that post down? I can't find it. That's no, so he revised it in all fairness. He, can I say what I think you did? And then you could say what the truth is. Yeah, sure. So he wrote a post and I forgot what it said, but when I read it and I think other people too, right? Cause I wasn't, was it just me who you were very kind when you said people have misunderstood. I was like, I did not misunderstand a damn <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing i will call out everybody and anybody okay that's the one thing you know i will call out anybody and everybody but you wrote the post because why don't you just tell me what the post was do you not want to bring that up no it's fine i don't even know what it was i don't remember what it, it was, was. basically i said enough with the, you want me to quote exactly yeah you said enough <laughs> with the lefty meltdown videos do you even pray for them or just laugh at them and that's all you wrote and that's all. And so when you read that, I was like, why is he making fun of people grieving? And I was like, and I did not see, this is how you do things, people. I did not post that on the comment. I sent him a direct message and I said, Rick, 
Is this very Jesus-like that you're making, you're asking your followers if they should either laugh at people who are grieving or if they should pray for them? And somebody had started writing, somebody wrote something like both. And I'm like, see, no, I didn't misunderstand it. I know I did it, but that's not what you meant. And I sent, I mean, I was upset because I could not believe you wrote that, but I don't think I was mean to you about it. No, 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 no. No, I wish you had still been awake so I could go to bed not thinking, oh, karma's mad at me today. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did go to I'm so <laughs> I was I was like, no, this grieving. is a misunderstanding. That's not what it's, you, it's the opposite of what you're saying. And that, that's what you said. You did, I'm so so you know what you should have texted me, baby. I'm mm. so so you know, it didn't even dawn on me. I was just so pissed. And then I was like, I'm going to bed. I can't believe Rick. He said he like Jesus, and he always preached. And I was like, but I really wasn't mad at you because I knew you were going to deal with it. I just didn't know you'd seen it. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Okay, and this is how you debate people <laughs> with two different views. <laughs> like in the future, though, you can just text me and be like, oh my God, Carmen, don't be... Because you, know, you know I shut down everything. I'm out and nothing's on my phone. I'm so mm-hmm. sorry. I am sorry you thought about that. Not that I think it's that big of a deal. I'm in your thought, but I hope you didn't think I was mad at you. Isn't yeah. that a quote from a show or movie, you think? What we have no, here is a failure to really, communicate. It is. I don't know what movie it is. I can't think it of it either, but yeah, that's um, something. It's a movie. Rick, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go to bed without clarifying oh, no, that I saw that's what fine. you... Yeah. But you revised it because that's not what you meant. Yeah, no, not at all. The yeah. Exact opposite. Yeah, you meant people should stop making fun of people mm-hmm. grieving and they should stop laughing and pray for them or embrace them. And you said it again on your show today, which I really appreciated in mm-hmm. your prayer part. Yeah, I appreciate that. But yeah, Cynthia, you're right. That's how you debate. That's how you talk. That's how you have conversations and misunderstandings can be unfolded and taken care of. I really was shook though. I could not understand why you wrote that because I didn't know what you were talking about. You know what I mean? That's all I was reading. I was like, damn, that's not Jesus. Like, I'm more like Jesus than he is. I remember saying that before I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I did. I totally did. I'm horrible. <laughs> so another thing, like, do you guys have anything else you want? Maybe we can get back to this. I just wanted to maybe get to the next subject. But What's also Can funny is that generally I don't talk about stuff like that, as you well know. <laughs> And I was like, this I need to address because this is just getting annoying because it keeps coming up on my feed and then people just making fun of him and laugh. Like people like losing their mind, whatever. And people are like, ah! I'm like, come on, this is enough. That's enough. Enough is yeah. enough. Like I, I look at, I, again, it's not just all of us in social media. There are people mm-hmm. that are in positions of power that have millions of followers who are doing that. And I, and I think that's what makes me sad. I feel like with the few followers I have, I, I feel like as a human being, I have a responsibility to be a decent hum, human being and, and, and a good person. Mm-hmm. And I think taking people's grief, I don't care what it is. I don't care what the grief is. I look at <laughs> Alden's going to hate me. Alden's traveling right now, but Alden's a cyclist and he'll get upset about his bike. He has, I guess, like a $10,000 bike. And I guess that's like a big, he has many bikes, but they're very expensive. I'm like, I wouldn't spend no ten thousand dollars on no damn bike, you know. What I mean? Like, he's is my baby, whatever. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Inside, I say that. Outside, oh, I totally get it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I totally. He's like, like Jay Leno you know, with his cars. Or my, you guys saw the sneakers I bought the other day. I showed you. Mm. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Okay, I bought what they're four hundred. I don't know how much it went four or five hundred dollars sneakers, and I thought Cynthia was going to jump through the. (laughs) (laughs) But then I reminded her of Disney and her crap Mm. with Disney. Yeah, I I think you reminded her of Disney. I think you did actually. We all have our things, is what I'm saying, and I would grieve if those sneakers somehow got a little. See, if I accidentally walked in dog shit or something, I'd be. You know, <laughs> that's, that's what I mean? And you might think, good for you. Good, but do you need to mock me? No, right. we do not mock each other. Maybe on the inside, on the inside, we might. Private message. We're in a private message. We're like, girl, they're just me because what's wrong with you? you know what I mean? <laughs> so funny. Um, 
I wanted to acknowledge that Quincy Jones passed away this yeah. week. I know. Oh. It's, oh. I know. Oh. I want to put a little video clip about him that I thought was interesting, might be fun to talk about, just part of his influence on music. But I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to hear it if I do it that way. So let me see if I can share it on the screen, right? Is that What am I going to do? How do I do it? Does everybody uh, have the echo cancellation on, just to make sure it doesn't oh. echo? I don't, how do we do that? Oh, under so, the settings. Yeah, and then go audio, and then just audio. Sure that, and where? Sure do, but should it be blue or black? This doesn't help. blue. Blue. Yeah, mine time. is blue. Oh, Cynthia right. can't look. She can't look. She's on her phone. The, the eighteen seventy five phone. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> is that a nice thing? No, I'm just kidding. Right that wasn't <laughs> very Jesus like, <laughs> Rick. There will be no laughter at all because we all go be eighteen seventy five. <laughs> Either oh, way, you think about that, whether it was eighteen dollars and seventy five cents or the year eighteen seventy five, no more. No matter how you think of it, that was oh, good. God. I was just gonna pull it up as. Let me try it this way. Okay, here it goes. What on those albums, Thriller, for example? Is you. We take his stuff and take it to another level. Don't stop till you get enough. I, it, it's very well known that Michael sent me a note. Could you please take off the violins in the introduction? No, it's messed up my groove. You know what that line was? Diddle, 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 diddle. Yeah. The identifying line on the goddamn song. So he said, take it off? Yeah. And you said? No way. You don't tell me what to do. No. Mm -mm. Who was right? Well, who, what, what ended up on the record? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the strongest parts of the introduction. Little, 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 little. But wasn't that kind of cool? You could see just how he, oh, thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Carol. They could hear it. Isn't that interesting, though, that you can understand the importance of a really good producer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the relationship? Like you could see the argument going back and forth or the, you know what I mean? Like take that out because it's messing with my, I would totally be that same person. I would have been saying that. I would have been like, you know what? It's messing with my groove. Can we take that out? And I would have been so wrong. But Michael listened to him or didn't have a choice. So I thought that was an interesting clip because it's short and it says so much about the yeah. relationship. And he's 100% right. It is the identifying clip of the song. You just <laughs> hear that one part, you know exactly what song it is. Exactly. Yeah. I thought that was so good. Shout out to Quincy Jones and his family. And Melanie said, I like the violins in that song. What was Michael? <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? It does make the whole song. It's fascinating because I remember just as a little kid, especially Cynthia, I, you, no, you weren't born, but when I first started dancing was with Doña Felita on Forbes mm -hmm. Street. She used to round up the little kids in the neighborhood oh, yeah. and we would, we would dance or whatever for the, like the VFW. Now when I think about they it. They still do it. it. Oh, they do? But look at me. I'm like, now when I think about how weird it was, like how creepy it was. <laughs> but we would dance for the VFW and we'd wear these like, and I thought I was Puerto Rican. I'm not Puerto Rican, but I'm very proud to have been confused to be, because we would sing, que bonita la bandera, que bonita la bandera, que bonita la bandera, la bandera Puerto Rican, yeah, which is how beautiful the flag, how beautiful the flag, how beautiful the flag of Puerto Rico. But we would sing that because clearly she was Puerto Rican. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. But also I think as we were in the Puerto Rican parade, we would do all these different things. But I just always remember you would listen to her and she would tell you what you should and should not do. And we were just little kids, so we would just do it. But right. some kids would be like, they didn't want to do it. You know what I mean? Like they didn't want, they would mess it up. And then she'd be like, you're out. And I'd be like, oh, I don't want to get out. Hey. Yes, we were. I just played you. <laughs> I played you. Um, he's so cool. Let's see if we can get him up here. Chris, I thought I sent you a link to see if you could join us because I know I, I didn't think he was playing tonight. Rick, do you have him on Facebook? Okay, wait. All right. Let me, you so. know what? <laughs> Let me hook this up. Let me speak amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, I know. I was always bummed because I was never in those. And I wanted my mom to put me in. And she never did. 
You were, you, it was when we got older, well, uh, cause you were, you're so much younger than that. Not that much younger, but you know, <laughs> no. but uh, Chris, Chris, you got played. Yes. Yes. I played <laughs> you. Did you get my, my <laughs> message on TikTok? I took the link you sent me about you talking about kindness and the way in which we talk to each other. And that kind of headed off our whole conversation. Okay, I sent you the link. I sent you the link if you want to come on. I know you're not playing tonight. I think you're not anyways. But yeah, so you didn't do Doña Felita. You did not do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that's when I first started performing. But I just remember how important it was that you, not only because you didn't want to get kicked out, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, right. I love that clip. And also Quincy Jones's breath of like his resume is ridiculous. But as everyone knows, my favorite movie is White. Color Purple. Color Purple. And he was the executive producer for that, for the original, is the, but also the one afterwards. I think he was involved with the one afterwards as well. Yeah. So God bless him. And Rashida Jones, his daughter, lovely actress. Peace. And I don't know. I think it's a tough time when someone passes away, even if you know they're going to or they're older or whatever. So he did, I guess it's considered like a Christmas album, Handles Messiah, but like in a black gospel, but not only black gospel, like he would took it like from different time periods, but mm-hmm. from a with a black influence. So it totally transforms the song, but that's one of my favorite albums. <laughs> it's like really Oh good. really? Mm-hmm. Nice. I think Chris Gales is in the house. Hold up one second. Hold up. Hello, sir. Hello. Looks like a oh, we we can't hear you when you're echoing. Wait a second. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Oh, good better, now. better, 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 better. Excellent, Mr. Joy. <laughs> Holla. Holla. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. I loved good. your video. Thank you for tagging me in it or sending it to me. Were you trying to tell me something? I am the queen of kindness with a little swearing. No, I wasn't trying to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what, what spurred you to, is it is it all the political stuff? Is that what it was? Yeah, somebody, someone had expressed a concern because of their situation. And they're living in fear, a type of fear now. But it's, it's a fear that some of us were used to. And mm-hmm. uh, we've become so acclimated about accl- acclimated with it that that it, it it sits in the back of our head, but it's not right here. And mm-hmm. some of the jokes and stuff and that we hear and we let pass because at one point in time we didn't we it would do no good to say anything about it. Right. Um, but you know what? Like I just I said, did a disservice. Let me just interrupt you for a moment. I never introduced you to Cynthia. Cynthia. Yes. This is Chris Gales. Chris <laughs> Gales, Cynthia. My apologies. I always think everybody knows everybody. So, I'm sorry about that. Go, go ahead. Chris. I apologize. Oh, good. <laughs> Cynthia is part of Carmen's family bush. You have to explain that. <laughs> He's not going to know what the hell that means. The man does not listen to the show. But he's busy <laughs> on Thursday night. <laughs> oh yeah. so instead of saying family tree, because Cynthia's actually my cousin, I always say it's a family bush because there's like weeds. Uh, and it's so it's like, it's a mess. Yeah. It's a mess. So it's, it's a bush. <laughs> uh, it just sounded wrong when Rick just said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family bush. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so people are living in fear or and expressing that, and you were concerned, and so you made yeah. a statement. It's just little things. It's it's hard for me to watch westerns these days. It's hard okay. for me to watch Bonanza. In fact, Bonanza in particular. Somebody was mentioning on Facebook. You can learn a lot about your friends by looking mm-hmm. at social media. But somebody was upset because on they were watching the episode of Bonanza and there was a, a warning displayed before it saying that the views of this show is not the views of, and they're trying to, what does that mean? And you do know the Cowboys weren't the good guys and Cowboys and Indian, right? But wait a, <laughs> a minute. A lot of people don't realize that. But why would a show, wasn't Bonanza like back in the 60s? Why would that have a warning? Because the cowboys were not always the good guys in the situations. But did they have the warning back then? That's my point. No, they did not. Okay, have. that's what I'm saying. So they're doing yeah. it now so that you... They're doing oh. it now. Because, I got yeah. it. Okay. Which, back then, it should have been done. It shouldn't have... 
oh, even been. Should have never aired. <laughs> but it's, it's become such the norm that it's become accepted. And when you call them out on the fact that, yeah, that's wrong. It's like you're being oversensitive about it. Wrong. Well, not really. Not yeah. really. But anyway, yeah, I, I think people like to excuse, like, you know, and, and again, Ignorance. I don't want to get us back into, you know, politics. I'm sorry, what did you say, Chris? And excuse, this really isn't politics. This is just, you know, it's just being kind, yeah, it's having just being manners. Kind. People are like, oh, you're so woke. I'm like, see, that. It's just an excuse to continue yeah. having bad behavior and bad language because it really doesn't hurt me at all to say something correctly or in a preferred mm -hmm. manner or to be considerate of other people. Right. So like this whole kind of woke thing or whatever, like just because you have to adjust a tiny bit, you know, is so difficult. So I think that's yeah. part of it too. You uh, know? Well, when, when, when that, when that phrase comes toward me, Oh, you're so woke. Well, you just go on back to sleep over there. You know? right. <laughs> it's like <laughs> such a weird, it is Don't a weird drive. diss. <laughs> Right? It's a weird diss. Like, you're so yeah. woke. I'm like, thank, thank you. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much. Okay. Like, <laughs> it's like saying I'm intelligent. I don't know what else to say with that. I'm kind, <laughs> compassionate, intelligent. I can change. Yeah. I'm able to adapt to my circumstances. Like, thank you is the only answer to being, you know, everyone yeah. should be woke. Everyone. You know, well, uh, yeah, when you point some of this stuff out, it's not just too sensitive. No, nah, it's just you're a dork. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> put it nicely. You used a heavy yeah. word there, Chris. I don't know. X rated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> That's when you just say, bless your heart. <laughs> bless your heart. Hey, that's a good one. They will understand that one very well. Mm -hmm. You're so woke. Bless your heart. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That is exactly what I want to say. You're too Chris, you've been well, working so much. You've been working so much. That's a blessing, right? But it is definitely a blessing. It is definitely a blessing. And yeah, it really is. But you're working like back to back. I think exactly. one Sunday you did three times. You were at three different places on one Sunday, right? Do you remember oh, that? It was a, it was like a well, month back or something. I don't remember exactly, but but yeah, it, it, that happens sometimes. It, it is a blessing. Um, it is a Cynthia, you may not know, but Chris Gales plays. Uh, he sings and he plays the guitar with his tongue as well, which crazy. Uh, <laughs> I saw the video. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> scary um, but we love Chris and I always wanted to come on the show but then I also don't like as always I don't like to pressure people to come on all the time and I know sometimes when I send the link there's that oh I can't make it and I'm like oh my god just come if you can so today I noticed I'm like oh I know he home because he just sent me a direct <laughs> message I'm, like, yeah, I'm actually waiting to go me. pick up my son from a little game that they're having that he's oh, wow. oh right now you're going playing. yeah That's I'm right, waiting we're almost you done. We have two more minutes. No, it's fine. You're fine. They do it that I'm just saying, like, when you sent me the DM, I'm like, I was all excited because I was going to invite you to the show. But then I was like, maybe he was saying this about me. When was I unkind? No. <laughs> but no, look, it, it didn't did. even matter. I just came on and used it on the show. What's funny and what really got under my skin is I had one person whom I've known his family for years. He comes on there and says, I still say crystals is better than White Castle. That was his response. I don't you know, know what that like, is. What is? I don't I, even know what that means. He was, but he was just trying to be funny. But to me, the way I, the mo mood that I was in and everything, that came off as I don't respect what you just said. I want to make a joke out of it. Okay, so I'm That's sorry. I don't know what crystal. Down. What did you just say? I don't even know what that is. What's the? Crystal, is that like a wine? Crystal burgers. Uh, okay. The Look little at, small burgers. Feel like what? In we don't some know places, what they're White Castle. We don't know what White that, Castle is. I know we White Castle. Castle. What's yeah, White Castle? I don't know, know White, White Castle. Castle. Some people know Crystal. Some people little know tiny both. burgers. Some people don't either. But I don't little know small rectangle. They're little, little small square burgers. Mm -hmm. Is it like a fast food chain. joint or something? It's a fast food chain. Yes. Okay. Yes. So he was trying to be me. I'm sorry. I grew up on the East Coast. We didn't have. Whatever, yeah, so he just said we do have now. And then now I'm on in California. We have In and Out Burger. We ain't got no yes. White Castle, or whatever. 
But so he was trying to be funny, but still degrading by competing. Yeah, that's what it comes out there. Okay. And it, 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 yeah, so I just deleted his post. If he asked me why I deleted, I will tell him. But I'm not going to yeah. get into it on the. It's dismissive. On the I started. I started to say something. Started to say something. See, you know, you just showed how serious that <laughs> that you know you are right. taking me, and you right. can sense the seriousness of it. But you choose to joke. I figured you would be one of the problems is what I started. That's right. right. (laughs) Melanie just said, I know White Castle, not the other. And Carol now cleared this up. It's a New Jersey thing. Okay, got it. It's a New Jersey thing? Because it's not a Boston thing. She knows I'm from Boston. We don't have those We don't have White Castle. Where I had White Castle was in Long Island. No. They have White Castle in Nashville, but they don't have any in Memphis. They have crystals mm-hmm. in Memphis, which mm-hmm. is just four hours di- four hours apart. So, <laughs> yeah, they don't have uncool things in California or Boston. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. It is. <laughs> I am like we have cool things. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love that you're here, Chris. It's so nice to see your smiley face. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you. But you're doing good. So you're you're do I mean clearly you're doing well working wise, but how's everything else? Fam. It, fam is good. Fam's good. My daughter, she's just started her second when well, she's about to finish her first semester of her sophomore year at mm-hmm. Mississippi State. And my son is now a freshman in high school. Oh my um, goodness. Amen, yeah. right? That's good. Is he playing football? Is that why you're saying you're going to go football? No, no, no. Oh, that's in- Ted. Is Ted's son has football, right? Yeah, I'm getting I think confused. So. I think Ted's son is football. You said you're picking up your son from where? From the little football game that they're having. Oh, they're but at the plays. game. Yeah, oh, the band. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not crazy. But will you come back again and maybe play some music for us? I might be I might be persuaded to do so. I mean, I know you're working all the time and I shouldn't be asking you to play, but you could play like <laughs> one little song. A little song. Yeah. So, Your kids into music or? too? What? Hmm? Your kids into music too? They take after daddy or what's funny is and <laughs> I had to have a little discussion with the band director about how they snuff out music. Hmm. Wait, what? My band, the band director here. I had a little conversation with them one day about how they snuff out the creativity in in, in students. Hmm. Um, okay. When I don't know how it is there, but here, when you're in band and you want to play an instrument, they have you play on the different mouthpieces, and they say, "Oh, you will be better on this instrument," and, oh. and this is the instrument that you're to play. I discovered just last year that my son actually wanted to play saxophone, which is what I played. He actually desired to play saxophone, but he didn't feel that he could play saxophone because they told him that he would be better on this horn. What and horn is he on? Is he on a euphonium? <laughs> What's a euphonium? Is that like that's a... what everybody says? Well, I don't know what but it is. It is a low brass instrument. When marching, they use one that is similar to a trumpet, but much, much bigger. Much bigger. Mm. Okay. But ordinarily, the euphonium is an instrument that looks similar to a tuba, but much To a much tuba. Smaller. Right, right, right. Hey, but I was in Color Guard and Drum Corps for, I don't know, 15 years. So I know bands. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, was the truth you would be better or I'd rather you be on that? The truth is, I would rather you be on that. We That's need somebody to play this as opposed mm. to this is music. It's an art. What do you desire to do with it? Yeah. Right. And I, I called the and the band director had no idea who I was. I told him you should probably Google me before you say anything stupid. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's right. Mr. Gales, I don't think you understand about the music. I think this would be better in the he's just better yeah. in the tone and blah blah blah. Can you imagine then be like, let me Google this yeah. parent? I I was in choir before I started really dancing for real and really being a performer. I was in choir at St. Thomas Aquinas Church and they let me have a solo, like just a a, a, a solo. So I was in the choir 
And we were in the back of the church up in the top, right? With the organ, the beautiful, this beautiful church with the organ, whatever. So it's not like anybody could see me or anything, right? Because we in the back. So I was ready. And I did the solo. I did the, and I was horrible. I was horrible. <laughs> but I was mm-hmm. also like nine years old. And in that moment, I, I still see her face. She was, it was one of the nuns. And she was like, you know what? You're not a singer. You're never going to be a singer. Oh. Something else. And let me tell you, I look at, I always kid around and say I have a horrible voice. I, mm. I, I don't. I do not have a horrible voice and I actually can keep a tune, but it kept me from ever pursuing uh, anything. Yeah. With singing. And that's why that time when you told me, and I think we're interviewing or we were, you were on the show or something, you were like, you should sing. I was like, I would never, because I won't. It, it was traumatic to me. Now, I'm not saying I got a voice like Whitney Houston and the night too, no, no. but, but it did keep me from pursuing that. Too bad he didn't exist back then or not famous. It would have been like, listen, Simon Cowell, I don't need your opinion, okay? When people say, oh, I can't sing, I say, you need to listen to Bob Dylan. And if you really listen real close, James Brown, too, you know, hey. Right? I know. Everybody's got their own. But I, look at, because I really believe that. I believe that you should encourage children. And maybe someone doesn't, but you don't tell a nine-year-old basically mm-hmm. that they suck. You, uh, yeah, and that it's their first think. time, and you didn't yeah. give them no coaching. You didn't give them nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's too bad about your son. But is he happy? Yeah. Like he can move on he's to another. Happy. He's fine. Answer. He's fine. It's it's like let's say there are different degrees of musicians. There are those that that I play my horn and just I play my horn or whatever and just whatever. Then there are those who man, I really love music. I really do love music. Let me play this. Let me go join a band. Let me play in this band. Yeah, let right. me do it, everything. Then there are those who are like, hey, I just got finished with my 13th show in two days. Right. I need to go home and practice. Right. That's you. <laughs> That's me. That's you and this guy and this guy. It, it, exactly. exactly. Oh, I had somebody the other day, the other day, somebody at work came up to me and was like, what are you wearing? What is that? What is that symbol? It's like a gang symbol. It ha- this is the second time <laughs> yeah. I've been at. I'm like, yes, the business yeah. manager of this company has chosen to go down deep in Compton and buy yeah. a gang outfit to wear. Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the symbols on the back. Is, oh, it mm-hmm. doesn't say Prince anywhere, but can you even that it? question? Was so unwoke. <laughs> well, can you imagine thinking? I mean, forget the forget that they don't know who Prince is. I was flabbergasted by the idea that they think I, because I'm the only black person. Well, you, you think about it. It was what twenty some years ago. Oh, I don't mind that people don't know because <laughs> yeah. they're young or whatever. But a gang. Yeah. <laughs> it says here, love one another. Like. <laughs> Yeah, should have told. No, it's witchcraft. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that or maybe it? astrology. That would have been <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's just shocking to me. I'm like, oh my god! Like, I just said yes, yes. I'm from Compton. This is the new thing we're wearing. This yeah. is what we do. It's a, it's a Minnesota gang sign. Is what it is. <laughs> it's a, oh, that's gonna be better. Yeah, it's a gang out of Minnesota. <laughs> Look, at, I say Compton because people think Compton is like the Compton is like a great place. It's such community, whatever. It's like people have these weird ideas, right? Because of movies or whatever, and sheer racism and whatever. It's just a poor area, but it's a cool area. So I always use Compton, but I'm gonna say that it's a Minnesota gang. Yeah. It's a Minnesota <laughs> gang. Oh, it's a Minnesota gang. Based out of Penhasson, Minnesota, yeah. That's right. And we usually wear purple, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> we usually wear purple, bitch. We usually wear, yeah. Our that slogan is, is your sexy mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's so slow, right? That's so funny. Oh my God. Yeah, we could go on that for a while. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm so glad you stopped by. This was so much fun. We're past the hour mark. I know you got to go pick up your son. I um, haven't gotten the call yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we'll talk some more. <laughs> well, not, what else you got? 
<laughs> now you put me on the spot. I have no idea. No, it's okay. <laughs> Which JDI, a gang oh, in Connecticut? That's my <laughs> Jesus did it thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Connecticut. It's even worse. It's online, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Online, Jesus did it dot org. Okay. <laughs> we did have masks one year. <laughs> did you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we all dressed up and looked all crazy. Oh, so crazy. Do it to um, it. Okay. Do it to it. Listen, I, I'm going to shut this down because as much as I'm having fun I, in my head, what do we all know I'm thinking about? Editing. <laughs> like, so, so let me just say a few things. First of all, please go to allaboutthejoy.com. Check out the store. We have some shirts, some cups. What were you going to say, Chris? You were going to say something. You can say I could have said the actual... You sex him and you could just uh, edit it out. <laughs> you, I'm waiting for you to say it. I'm waiting for you to say it. You want me to say it? You're a sexy mother. <laughs> I'm waiting to say it. Huh? Oh, Prince, go ahead. Quote Prince, him in full. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no. This is going to be the highlight reel. You're saying, you're saying it in your heart. Same thing. Saying it in your heart. Saying it in your brain. Um, we love Prince. We love Prince. You sexy motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I'm over saying it. Look, you think this is the first time? I think I swore 97 times on this episode alone. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I swear all the time. But I swear it was love and joy in my heart. I don't swear at people. I swear as an expression of, I don't know, like an exclamation point. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I, I have no issues with that. Did, did I offend your ears, baby? You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, my ears are not offended. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, everyone. I want to thank Chris Gales for stopping by. Thank you so much. We'll have you back on. Cynthia, love you so much. Always appreciative. Rick, my heart, <laughs> thank you. Allaboutthejoy.com. Please can share on YouTube. I appreciate everyone going on Facebook and liking it. That's not helping me. It does, but it really doesn't. <laughs> YouTube, go in every video on YouTube. If you can do me that favor, that would be such a nice Christmas gift for me. Just go in as many videos as you can for us just to give us a little boost in the algorithm and just so that I feel better. Thank you so much, everyone. Remember, at the end of the day, it really is what? All about, All about the, the joy. joy. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. All about the joy. Be better and stay beautiful, folks. Have a sweet day. <laughs>